And as the Horned Frogs prepare for their spring game on Saturday, we bring in our TCU insider, Brian Estridge. Brian, uh, with every football team, you start with the quarterback. Kenny Hill is now out. So has anyone stepped into that role so far this spring? Well, I think folks uh, who follow TCU are counting on Sean Robinson being that guy. He was the uh, Texas Gatorade Player of the Year, threw for about 3,400 yards, ran for another 1,400 coming out of DeSoto High School, big high school uh, just south of Dallas. And he, and he has been that guy. Got some run last year uh, in place of Kenny Hill and a couple of opportunities. Uh, has been the lead dog this year as far as uh, uh, spring ball was concerned. And, and I think that uh, it will end up being his job. The interesting thing, though, is Michael Collins has pushed him. And Michael Collins... Collins is a transfer from, of all places, Penn. He's about six foot five, big, strong kid, throws a really good ball. Players like him, coaches uh, love the fact that he's grasped the offense. And I think that's going to be actually a good thing for Sean Robinson to have a guy behind him who's played some, uh, was a freshman of the year there in the Ivy League. And I, and I think Michael Collins will end up being good for Sean Robinson. Good to have two guys that hopefully you can count on at that spot. And staying with the offense, a lot of talent on that receiving core. Uh, how are they looking in spring camp? You know, I, I think you uh, use the uh, operative word there, talent. Uh, but they're young, and, and I, I think experience is going to be an issue. Obviously, Jalen Rager had the breakout year last year. They'll continue to to count on him. I think he's a guy that uh, has to have a big year for this receiving core, and really for that young quarterback. Omar Manning is another guy that I think that they want to see uh, continue to progress at that spot. And and, and Kevontae Turpin is a guy who's experienced, uh, who uh, is a guy that they've just got to get the ball in his hands. You know, he's a um, uh, terrific player on special teams is um is a guy that when he touches the ball good things happen uh so i think they're going to count on him a lot in the slot you'll you'll see him in the backfield some as well but this is a guy who if he's going to make an impact on offense it's going to be in that slot spot uh for at wide receiver so i think uh Cavante, uh, jalen and i think omar those are the, those are three kind of core guys that you can look to along with guys like jalen austin who have been around the program for a while and on the other side of the ball, a lot of holes to fill in that secondary. Who does Gary Patterson have in place to start filling that void? You know, that's a good question because you do lose a guy like Nick Orr, who was really the quarterback of this defense. And, and, and losing a guy like that, it's hard to replace the number of games, the experience, uh, just the fact that he was able to get everyone else lined up. I think he's going to lean on a guy like Ridwan Isahaku. Uh, and, and Ridwan's a guy who really came on last year, uh, plays bigger than he is. Uh, he and Ennis Gaines sort of split time last year. I think they'll both be on the field together this year. Ennis, a much more physical guy at safety back there. I think that's one of the guys that they're going to count on. And then at corner, it's got to be Jeff Gladney. Gladney returns with experience. He'll become the shutdown corner with Ranthony Tejada graduating. I think those three guys are going to be the core of this defensive backfield, and they'll try to fill that in with younger players in the fall. And as we mentioned, that spring game coming up, is there any newcomers that we should be keeping an eye on? Maybe someone we hadn't heard of yet, but we will be hearing a lot about. You know, I think a guy like Kennedy Snell is a guy that you got to keep your eye on. Played a little bit last year. Uh, obviously didn't have uh, the second half of the season that people thought that he would as a true freshman out of Waxahachie. And he, he's a guy, though, that's going to have to get a lot more carries at running back uh, with the graduation of Kyle Hicks. Darius Anderson returns, obviously, and Shea Alanalua at running back. But a guy like Kennedy Snell, who, who can have that breakaway speed, can run in between the tackles when he needs to, but a guy, if you can get on the edge, can really take it to the house. I I think a guy like Kennedy Snell is a guy I'm going to keep my eye on that I think folks will uh, they'll start to recognize as the season goes on. Brian, thank you so much for your insight on the Horn Frogs. We appreciate you taking the time. Kristen, anytime. Have a great weekend.